titans of the sky. Introducing Aksungur and Tapas UAVs. The skies are a new battleground. Unmanned aerial vehicles or drones are key. Two stand out. Thai Aksungur from Turkey and Tapas from India. Both push the limits of drone technology. The Aksungur is a product of Turkish Aerospace Industries, a medium-altitude long-endurance UAV. Think long missions, heavy payloads. It first took to the skies in 2019. On the other hand, the Tapas, also known as Rustam 2, hails from India's Defence Research and Development Organisation. It's also a male UAV, aiming for similar roles. Its first flight was back in 2016. The Aksungur and Tapas reflect different design approaches. Aksungur prioritizes payload and endurance. It's bigger, with a distinctive twin boom tail which aids stability during long flights with heavy sensors or weapons. Tapas emphasizes versatility. It's smaller, designed for easier transport and deployment and can operate from shorter runways, making it flexible for various environments. Despite their differences, both are multi-role platforms. Reconnaissance is key. They act as eyes in the sky, feeding information to commanders. They can also carry weapons, blurring the lines between surveillance and strike. Now, let's compare their vital stats. The Aksungur has a wingspan of 24 meters, a maximum takeoff weight of 3,300 kilograms, a payload capacity of 750 kilograms, an endurance of over 40 hours, and an operational altitude of up to 40,000 feet. The Tapas, however, has a wingspan of 20.6 meters, a maximum takeoff weight of 2,650 kilograms, a payload capacity of 350 kilograms, an endurance of up to 24 hours, and an operational altitude of up to 35,000 feet. Clearly, Aksungur boasts more muscle, carrying heavier payloads for longer durations. Meanwhile, Tapas being lighter, is potentially cheaper to operate. Eyes in the sky Comparing ISR capabilities, both excel at intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance or ISR. They carry advanced sensors. Electro-optical, infrared or EOIR turrets provide day and night vision, while synthetic aperture radar or SR sees through clouds and camouflage. Aksungur's larger payload allows for more powerful sensors, potentially detecting smaller targets at greater distances. Meanwhile, Tapas's advantage lies in its agility and potential for lower-cost operations, making it suitable for persistent surveillance over smaller areas. Payload Prowess and Mission Flexibility Aksungur's payload capacity opens a wider range of missions. It can carry a variety of munitions, including guided bombs and missiles, making it suitable for both counterinsurgency and conventional warfare scenarios. Tapas can also be armed, but its lighter payload limits its options. It's better suited for surveillance, target acquisition and light strike roles. Both drones have civilian applications too, think disaster monitoring, search and rescue or infrastructure inspection. Their endurance and sensor capabilities are invaluable here. The Aksungur and Tapas represent a leap forward for their respective nations. They provide affordable access to advanced drone capabilities. This has significant implications for regional power balances. Both platforms are still under development. Expect to see upgrades. Think longer endurance, more sophisticated sensors and even more advanced autonomy. The future of warfare is unmanned. The Aksungur and Tapas are just the beginning. These titans of the sky will redefine conflict in the 21st century.